This is my uh, new remodeling stairs. I already stain it and polyurethane it. And what I want to talk about is the gap that you have uh, between the wall here, okay, and the riser here, and also a gap between the thread and the wall here, okay. And how do I actually going to fix this gap by cocking it? As you can see here, I already did it. It really looks nice, okay. And I want to show the other stairs that I almost completed. So here are the other stairs that I already almost complete and I want to show you the result here. If you look here, you can see in here I already cock it. And you can see it's really quite professional here. Okay, and that's what I want to talk about. I want to show you how I did it. So the first thing I'm going to put, I'm going to put the tape here. You see this tape that I already did and you can see the gap here. Okay, so if you look at it carefully, you can see a gap of at least 3 mm and here is a, a gap of like 2 mm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a tape here because what I really want to cook it with silicone and uh, I'd like to protect the thread and also I would like to make it uh, quite professional. So let me show you how I'm doing it. So as you can see, I put the tape here. Okay, and you can see here there is a hole, a gap. It's a probably a very, very small gap. And here it is a small gap. So each gap is actually uh, between two to three millimeters, some of them even one millimeter. Here's another place. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually now put silicone and I'm going to use a special tool called Porococ in order to push the silicone inside this gap. So this is the silicone I'm using here, as you can see, it's from GE, it's paintable and it's a waterproof silicone. So it's a 10 years mold free, it's very important, the mold, because uh, there is a stairs here and you know, mold can be uh, presented in the side of the the wood here. So here is another place where I cook. So after I uh, put the silicone, the cooking, okay, I'm actually using these tools, it's called Procock, as you can see, P-R-O-C-A-U-L-K. You can find it in Home Depot and Lowe's, it's very nice and very useful. So what I'm doing here, as you can see, I'm going to take this Procock, put it here, and press the silicone to the gap, it's a very small gap. See the amount of silicone I took here? Same thing I'm doing here. Take the amount of silicone I cover. Taking this pre coke and just So what left to do now after I actually use the Procock tools and the only thing I have to do is just to remove the tape here so you can see how nice it looks Okay, so we continue removing the second tape here. So 
So you can see here is a place where I can actually correct with um, the tools. I will try to correct it now with the tools. So you can see what I'm ta I'm taking the tools here and I'm trying to remove the excess. Okay. So you can see I almost remove all the excess. What you cannot remove, you can use a wet towel. I'll show you. So here, what I'm doing here in this area, I'm just taking a wet towel. Okay, it's slightly, slightly wet, and just cleaning the area here as much as I can. And that's the way it looks from a distance. As you can see, it's almost perfect. So I'll continue doing this uh, stairs. But uh, I understand you understand the way to cork in a very narrow gap using the Pro Cork tools here, as you can see.